Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video, and today I'm gonna show you something that's very simple to make and also very useful. I don't see a lot of this being used today, which is kind of a surprise because this is something that you could use for both artificials and bait and lures, jigs, soft plastics something like this okay and I'm gonna show you how to build this this is called a tenbin in Japanese tadmina in Arabic and see that there so it's in frame and in the Philippines uh, I, I honestly don't know the Filipino name or the Tagalog name for this but in in Cebu we call it kind of a mouthful there but anyway I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple one and all you need are three swivels some wire and some tools to work with wire okay I often use a vice grip and uh, an eye forming tool and I use this only once and basically it's to cut the wire okay so this is Maylene 400 pound test in the Philippines, you can use Edwards, okay? So I'm just gonna cut a length here, okay? That long, okay? That long, that's it. Again, very, very simple, okay? Uh, just so that you can see, it's uh, Maylene, 400 pound. In the Philippines, you can use Edwards. So for people in the Philippines, you can get Edwards it's pure stainless steel and you can pick that one was number 30 but you could pick probably like number 20 or 25 and it'll be more than enough okay so the very first thing that we do is actually form a wire wire eye okay and it really depends on how big you want it to be it's really up to you I suggest you uh, wear safety goggles when you're doing this. Some sort of protective eyewear. I'm wearing glasses right now. Although you can't see it, but I'm wearing glasses. Okay. So you form an eye, slide the swivel in, like so. Okay, I usually use my vice grip to make sure that I have good grip on the wire like that okay and here's a trick okay instead of actually trying to spin the wire on to the hook what I do is actually use the vice grip for leverage and use that to turn okay and you end up with really clean rolls Ensure the swivel is not in the way. And all you need for this, honestly, is two or three wraps. And that is it. Okay? Now just to show you how the wrap looks like, I am going to use this plier. Okay? Just to show you how I'm turning this side and this is steady. Okay? So, there we go tight turns now all you need to do is just break that off now to break that off you make a crank handle here okay and then just go like that breaks now again just as a reminder if you're breaking it you'll see that it won't get snagged or even hurt your fingers okay so the eye is formed like so okay and then what you need to do is do the same thing at the end right here okay use that eye forming tool form the eye like that Okay. 
Okay. Put this swivel in like so. Fix the eye like that. Okay, just housekeeping there. Okay, and then your vice grip. Like that. Okay. Again, use this to twist. Okay, I'll do this so that you can see. Okay, I am not moving the pliers. As you can see, I'm moving the vice grip. Okay, perfect. That's clean. Turn it one more time here. All right, like that. And then form a crank from the top there. And then, okay, there we go. After this whole thing, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the rig, okay? So that you can see how things are set up. So at this point, you have that, okay? Just a straight line with the swivel, swivels at the end. And that's great. All you have to do now is pick a side here, okay? Now what I wanna do is have the main side, main, main line side a bit shorter than the leader side. Just to give it a bit more distance so it's farther away from the main line. Okay, so now what we need to do, what I do differently here is I make, actually make a smaller eye than these two. Okay, so this, this side here and this side here both have the same sized eye. But on this one, on the smaller or in the middle, I always do a smaller eye. You may have noticed that I have completely omitted the swivel. Okay? And there's a reason for that. And if I put this here, I'm stuck with the swivel and I won't be able to install anything else. Uh, like take for example for this one right here, I have a jig. Okay, if it was only exclusively for sinkers, I would put the swivel. But if I put a split ring there, it means I could put a swivel after and use a sinker. Or if I want more action from the jig, I want to put a swivel there. And if it's already there, I have limited options. Okay, now the reason why I'm not putting a swivel there is because I want the flutter of the jig to actually affect this whole thing. Okay, if I put a swivel there, it will just spin on its own there. You know, there's no restriction. But if I put this and it's fluttering down, it's actually moving the whole thing and actually moving my soft plastic. I'll, I'll show you later. Okay, so... That's the rationale behind me not putting the swivel. The swivel, if you want to put it there, great. You could put it before you form one eye. That's it. It's as easy as that. Okay, so now that we have that, going back to this, you'll notice that I have a, a, a shorter side and a longer side. Okay. All right. Then what I could do is actually just turn the shorter side and make... one or two rolls or wraps okay and i end up with a perfect 90 degree bend there on its own it's already really good okay but what i do is i take this okay my eye forming tool and then 
I bend the long arm forward. All right, so what we have here is uh, I've rigged the, the spreader with a fast jig. Okay, you could use slow jigs as well, but especially in deep water and you want to get your bait or your lure down as fast as possible, it's better to use this, uh, a fast jig, okay? Slow jigs will kind of flutter down, okay? So a uh, fast jig would be better because they're designed to just go down deep as fast as possible. So we have uh, our leader here and it is... On the thin side, okay, especially for offshore fishing, it's actually about, uh, I believe it's 17 pounds. Okay, so this is a uh, suffix Super 21. It's one of the lines that I actually use for, for this sort of thing. So you have your knot secured, the bait. This small thing cannot go down 100 meters. And suddenly you're able to do it with this whole system. Okay. So you can present really tiny baits, really down deep, with just this whole device. You have an attractor and you have the lure, okay? Now, let's say if you don't want the jig, you want even something smaller, okay? You attach a hook, okay? This is a, a live bait hook, okay? so. And what could be smaller than this? It's a very tiny soft plastic. This is a good rig when you're fishing for or when you're fishing down deep and the fish are homed in to tiny bait. Okay, so you know, you thread this in. Okay, and you have a very small soft plastic that would tempt even the pickiest eaters. Okay, could also use bait, live bait. Okay, uh, just be mindful of your leader. You could always, of course, bump the leader up. This is uh, 17 pounds and it's nylon. You could also use fluorocarbon. It's really your choice. Uh, this really long leader right here, okay, it's not going to get snagged to your main line because as it drops, it goes like that. See, I'm pulling on the line right here, okay? And then your, your leader is going to be right here. So they're separated, okay? So it's a very great uh, way to drop down tiny, tiny lures or bait, okay? Which you want to use in really deep water. Okay, I've, I've, go, I've gone down to about 200 meters on this and have caught some nice like snapper or whatnot back home. By the way, uh, before I forget, you put a 40 gram jig here, okay, and it can be used from shore. It's simple as that, you know, you have to adjust your casting and everything, but you could use a, a 20 gram or whatever size jig that you, uh, that you have in your tackle box, even weights. So this is something that you could actually use even from shore. Now when you're retrieving from shore, all it does is actually just fold down like that, okay? No matter how small, like take for example for this one, okay? Um, for shallow water fishing, I like using uh, slow jigs more than I do fast jigs. So especially like take for example this one, okay? So the jig just goes like that while you're retrieving it, okay? like that and it swims too you know you could use fast jigs in shallower water you could use uh, s slow jigs it's totally up to you but it's really just a very good system especially when we are fishing and then after that all of a sudden you could see the fish in the sounder but all of a sudden they just don't bite okay so this is a very very good way to actually get some more strikes even when the the bite kind of shut down because when it shuts when the bite shuts down more than likely they will eat something smaller, okay? And when when you're in shallow water, it's not much of a problem because all you have to do is just drop down a, uh, a size or two. Uh, 
especially if you have a spare outfit but if you don't have a spare outfit and this is a way for you to actually fish smaller lures in relatively deeper water or on faster drifts and it works so a lot of situations that you could use this okay cool so um thanks for watching and if you haven't yet please like and subscribe so that you can uh, get notified when new videos such as this are uploaded. I'll see you in the next one.